If we don't pay attention to our dollar, politicians are not going to pay us the attention we deserve. I, was, I knew what was coming. Like, I'm Wesley Lowry in Atlanta with Michael Render. We perfect. Thank you. You probably yeah. know him as Killer Mike. Look at all these slave masters posing on your dollar. A Grammy Award winning rapper, an activist, a business owner, and as he first revealed to us, the co founder of a new black owned bank. Make a dollar cover. I don't want just black people banking black. If you make money with us, if you make money off us, if you are in our community, I want you banking too. Run the Jewels is the hip hop collaboration between Killer Mike Looking for M's like I lost a friend. and rapper producer Jamie Maline, also known as LP. The duo's fourth album, with lyrics about systemic racism and police violence, was praised for its prescience. Rolling Stone said it was masterful and talked about how in a lot of ways, the sound and the fury of what you were talking about in many ways met the yeah. moment. I mean, this year between Memorial Day and Labor Day yeah. has just been so much. It's been insane. What do you make of where things are? I think these things are where they always are. The state constantly mishandles its power. And I think that the thing that's unique about this moment is everyone is paying attention at the same time and pushing back at the same time. I've seen everyone identify the same oppressor and lean into that. So what I've been most impressed by is seeing that everyone from the Amish, everyone from Asians that were part of the Yellow Panthers have come out and marched in solidarity with black people to say the state is treating us badly. And if you don't pay attention to us next, it'll be you. Four days after the death of George Floyd, with tensions and protests raging across the country, Killer Mike joined Atlanta's mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, at a press conference where he launched into an extemporaneous effort to calm the city where he was raised. So I'm duty bound to be here to simply say that it is your duty not to burn your own house down for anger with an enemy. The advantage of growing up in Atlanta is all my heroes and villains were black. And it's black from top to bottom, good, bad, and ugly. And because of that, I understand what the content of someone's characters mean. What do you make of the movement right now? Which movement? All of them. <laughs> well, I think all the movements have commonalities, even in our differences. Mm -hmm. One big commonality we have in the movements in terms of having the same masters or oppressors or people that kind of hold marginalized people down is they control the money. And whoever controls the money in politics, whether it's a lobbyist group or a billionaire that decides he wants to see his friend in Senate or mayoral office, that money kind of dominates. Black Lives Matter! As the Black Lives Matter movement gained momentum, Killer Mike was also quick to back another movement, Black Money Matters. His call to invest in black-owned banks led to thousands of new accounts and millions of dollars. Money, he says, that strengthens black communities and businesses like his barbershop. If we go into a larger bank and it's one of the big four, they're not going to understand black barbershops. They're not going to understand black guys get their hair cut every week, not once a month. They don't even understand the culture of barbering, that barbers um, are, are like artists or dentists or doctors in our community. We understand the amount of commerce that comes through here. My own kitchen was a black food desert. In his 2019 Netflix series, Trigger Warning, Killer Mike set out to sustain himself for three days solely on black-owned businesses. So these fruits and vegetables are fresh, and fresh. they're from black farms? From black farms. There were moments of promise. Uh, yeah, please, man, I want everything. I think he ought to go with that sample platter right there. But the social experiment was mostly a bust. Please tell me, like, this came from the West Georgia, like, Black Farmers Collaborative, or? No, it didn't. May I get it to go box, please? That disappointment may have helped motivate Mike for his next act co-founding the digital bank Greenwood with former Atlanta mayor Andrew Young and Atlanta-based entrepreneur Ryan Glover, who serves as the bank's chairman. Glover says the mission is to create more Black and Latinx wealth. According to the Federal Reserve, the median wealth of a white family in 2019 was more than $188,000, compared to $36,000 for Hispanic families and just $24,000 for black families. One solution to close that equity gap, Glover suggests, is more investment in black communities. Marching, protesting is fine. 
But the only way that we can move our culture forward, in my personal opinion, is through bank capital. Greenwood is named for the Tulsa, Oklahoma neighborhood that was destroyed 99 years ago by a mob of white residents. Before then, it was known as Black Wall Street, a community full of thriving businesses. We've got to get back to that point in history, that point of black excellence, that point of black ideation. That's the way we will grow our community. Greenwood plans to start taking deposits later this year. It won't be a brick and mortar bank. Its services, like checkings and savings accounts, will all happen online. But like other banks, its deposits will be FDIC insured. My grandparents, one of the first things they did besides buy me Delta and Coca-Cola stock, because we were right here in Atlanta, was take me to a black bank, get me a, my first savings account, later a checking account. And I think that we should be doing that in the digital age. We have the ability to put a bank in our hand. And with Greenwood, your bank is there, and you don't have to wait for your eight-year-old to turn 12 and take home economics. You can be doing that as early as seven, eight years old. And Greenwood isn't only banking on Black and Latinx customers. If we have a strong economy in the Black community, the greater community becomes stronger. So I'm telling people on the other side of the camera, don't just hear bank Black. What you're hearing is bank local, bank regional, bank with people who care about you, bank with people who are going to put money into small and medium-sized businesses, because in capitalism, more competition creates a greater outcome for the customer. In my heart of hearts, I truly believe that Senator Bernie Sanders is the right man to lead this country. A vocal supporter of progressive politics, Killer Mike twice endorsed Bernie Sanders for president and served as a campaign surrogate. Obviously, Bernie's not in at this point. You yeah. got Biden and Harris versus Trump and Pence. Yeah. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are for the black community in particular. There's never been a better time for you to flip certain states, like Georgia could be flipped now. Um, there are other states that can be, but I think that we need to take our agenda seriously, and we shouldn't wait on a candidate to give us their version of our agenda. I think that if the African-American community is not strong, the wider community is not strong. And I didn't say white, I said wider. 